of one, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions, uh, bullish in a bear market, or excuse me, bullish in a bull market, still at the upper end of the range, seeing that trend curling back up. We're now long-term trend pointing in this up direction, and uh, that uh, this is the long-term trend that began back here in April. Still, this overall uptrend is in place. Had a significant pullback. This little downtrend right here representing this smaller line. Remember that this is a one-year time frame. This is a 20-year time frame. So this upper chart just represents the last one year uh, of activity on this chart below it. So this larger chart just gives us a little historical context. And this chart here gives us uh, currently in the last year what's happening. So uh, we know that we've had this, we had this market bottom, really strong rally and uptrend and a retracement throughout the summer and uh, a pretty nice solid rally ever since then. We're definitely at the upper end of the range still uh, in both the long-term bull market and the shorter-term bull market. And uh, haven't seen real, real, any, any, really any indications in the short term of any cracks or selling. Uh, we are seeing some slowing in momentum. And let's see if this, uh, if we get a bounce right here, if this will pull momentum back up again. Uh, but this is this chart right here. We'll go in and look at the S and P 500 is the one um, of most concern, and more about the buy sell ratio. And let's talk about that. So momentum, we saw a nice move on Friday. Uh, keeping that in that upper trend. Breadth is uh, approaching that upper range uh, as indicated here on this lower chart and then sentiment also strongly positive. So still bullish conditions, just, just extreme to the upside. And we're seeing just this kind of this long uh, drawn out counter trend move over the last two weeks, three weeks, uh, as we shot out of the gate that first, for the first you know four or five days of the rally. And then um, it's just had needed a little bit of time to pause right here. Buy sell ratio, we're still sitting up above that three number. It's at 3.8, got as high as six. And so we're definitely at a width range, a range of, of uh, buy sell ratio that is. It's unsustainable at these levels. It can last, you know, it can come back and move higher and things like that. But this is an area where we're at resistance on the market as a whole. We've got buy sell ratio that is historically wide and uh, just some areas to be paying attention to. What that means is be paying attention to current open positions. So if you've got positions that you've got losers, it's maybe an opportunity to to trim the losers and hold on to your winners and adjust stop losses on winners if necessary. Uh, these are just representation of how to be able to manage the overall current situation and portfolio and risk associated to that. Let's take a look at uh, some of the indices here. We've seen NASDAQ move back up uh, into the short term uptrend, had a good solid day on Friday, you can see that confirmation bar. We may be looking at a breakout soon on NASDAQ. If we can get a good solid move, we're up in that upper momentum zone and uh, just a close or clearing up above this most recent high, 394, somewhere in that range, would take that into that upper level. So we're seeing some, some nice bullishness across the board on markets. If we look at SPY, let's talk about that. Because this actually has connected now a new high to this time frame. Let's look at the one-year time frame. So we've actually connected to a new high on the one-year time frame as well. And a pretty decent volume. So the one, this one-year time frame and a closing breakout on S&P 500, this could be significant, at least for the S&P 500 chart pattern. We're in this nice bullish uptrend, still continuing to move this direction. This is that long consolidation I was talking about. It really just shot out here. Now it's just kind of been pausing and chipping away and moving higher. That's constructively bullish because there's not a, an, a, really any aggressive selling days that we've seen. Uh, I just don't think there's a lot of interest in, uh, in in selling at this point because we have this long retracement waiting for the Fed to make some decisions on interest rates now that may be in, um, in the works. So let's actually look at that. If we go back to our indexes and we take a look at TLT, TLT are, are the... the the 20-year uh, bonds, we talked about that back here where bonds are rallying, interest rates are going lower, and that's what we want to see for the economy. We want to see bonds moving higher. That means interest rates are moving lower. We are at this upper range, so 50% retracement of this downtrend. So now we've moved back halfway to this overall. That's that's It's been a great move. And now each of these levels, we've hit some resistance here. 
if it pulls back, should start to find some support. So these are there is we're, we're back into buy the dip scenario on bonds as well, and uh, that should give us some support here additionally for bonds and probably the markets as well. And uh, let's take the uh, look at the other factor that has been discussed quite a lot and that is uh, oil if we take a look at sectors we go to commodities and we'll go to the USO which is right here that had been deeply oversold and so you can see that it had moved all the way into this lower range if we look at the one year time frame we broke through that buy zone that 50618 is now test uh, testing that 63 64 dollar range lots of lots of support right here at these levels i wouldn't be surprised to see oil kind of stabilize find some support it had a little move up yeah uh, friday two percent and uh, so we could see some support and some st uh, stability in oil at these levels that's what we would want to see if we were looking for a long trade for something bullish and it's got a long-term uptrend it's had a pretty decent retracement so let's watch that over this next week see if it starts to find some support and uh, there may be some oil stocks that have retraced with that as well let's jump over to the muscle stocks group actually let's jump to sectors because the sector etf uh, lineup here were just bearish energy uh, everything else is bullish right here so looking good across the board with that let's jump back to commodities because i want to go over gold uh, which is also something to be considering at this uh, in the portfolio currently in your individual portfolios gold is retrace it's still in this upper buy zone We've talked about GLD as an ETF to be able to trade instead of buying the hard asset or the bullion itself. This is one of the ways to be able to look at that. So shorter term pullback here on uh, on gold, but it's right at a major support area. It's now dipped through on that six month time frame below the momentum location, but lots of support right here as well. So watch to see if we find some support here in, in, in gold. Uh, there is a long-term chart for the last two or three years, major, major resistance right here. So not not uh, surprised to see it pulling back. Want to see it find them some support and then ultimately moving higher if it is going to do so. The Muscle Stocks Group, the, the uh, list here, you've got TAST, which is the number one stock on that list. Nice momentum looking trade, big gap here on some earnings, tight consolidation for a long time and looking like it wants to continue that trend higher. Let me just refresh this page and we'll scroll through a couple of others here. Uh, ACHR also nice confirmation move looking good on the chart pattern today. ARLO, this is a, on the one year time frame, had a nice retracement to 382 and back up into momentum zone, almost to the momentum zone inside of a bullish trend currently. And let's add some volume, see some a little bit of increase. You can see some small vo volume spikes there as well. POWL. Uh, there were actually some decent looking stocks in here. JAKK, Jack Pacific, um, that's had a big breakout move here. It may get some continued momentum uh, just based on the kind of stock it's been this last few weeks. Those a lot, that'll also, uh, a, lot, a lot of times pull in additional traders to those patterns. Uh, that's the um, the new buy list for today. That'll do it for today's update. Uh, if you don't have full access to the software, you can sign up with the link below. And uh, we look forward to having you have a fantastic day today.